they didn't want it back? I mean, it's obviously a mistake. Someone just put the key in the wrong slot. The guy at the desk said he didn't know what to do with it. He said I should just turn it into the campus police. So why didn't you? Well, I want to figure out what it's for. I mean, it's the same kind of key the university issues for everything. I want to know what it opens. What, so you're going to go all D. Roger Hornsby and waste hours on this wild goose chase around the campus? Well, it worked for him, didn't it? And besides, don't you want to go on an adventure? The only thing I want right now is a big pot of coffee, a nice quiet room, and for Moby Dick to be 100 pages shorter. Dr. Kelly. Andrew Kelly. Where did this come from, if you don't mind my asking? Well, it was in my mailbox this morning. I don't know where it came from, but I plan on finding out. Oh, very interesting. But you realize that this key almost certainly wound up in your mailbox through a postal worker's clumsy error. It's an accident that you have it at all. Have you tried the campus police? You call it an accident. I choose to think of it as the beginning of a grand adventure. What an unrealistic way to view the world. Perhaps, but much more interesting. Well, who likes realism anyway? Say, DRH. Did you notice this is, this is DRH on the key? Mine says BSC, but it's, it's a Bradshaw Science Center. I've never heard of a DRH moment before. No, neither have I, I'm afraid. better be going now. Who's that? I don't know, but I'd venture to say he's some sort of reporter. Ever since Roger Hornsby died, they've been very interested in finding out about his latter reclusive years. Since I knew him well in my youth, they think that I can give them some sort of information. He doesn't look like a reporter. Yes, um... As I said, you should be going now. I still have my key. Of course. special key. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to give it to me. I don't have it with me. It's in my room. I don't want any trouble. I can go get it for you. That'll be fine. I'll go with you. After you. Beat it, kid. We're busy. What? Uh, uh. You got two seconds to get lost. Get your hands off her. Look, kid. I.
Melville actually thought whales were fish? Never mind, Beth. What do you know about Roger Hornsby? What? Why? Beth! Okay, okay. Uh, he was a rich, crazy billionaire. He basically paid for the entire university on his own, but... Then he went completely wacko and stopped going out in public and started doing all these crazy stunts. Like, uh, he hosted a dinner party, he faked his own death, made his dinner guests play Blue Eye Blue. Like, really, who does that? I mean, I guess it'd be interesting just to see. I wish we were doing something like that in sight. You have a control room of about 10, 10, 15 people. Fine, um, let's see. Oh yeah, he died last week. Like, for real died. I think it was a heart attack or something. If he wanted to hide something on campus, where would he hide it? Seriously, how am I supposed to know that? Do you want me to get a Ouija board? I mean, I didn't know the guy. What year did he start donating to the university? Uh, Wikipedia says 1997. Same year his son was born. What building were under construction that year? What is this, 20 questions? Karen, what's going on? You sound really frantic or something. Are you okay? Beth, please just answer. I will explain later. The Bradshaw Conference Center was around then, so uh, construction on the Romero Tower was completed one year later, but mild renovations were made two years later to comply with newly legislated city code. The tower. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be what? Where DRH, it stands for D. Roger Hornsby. Ah, clever girl. It's only been an hour. I thought I'd be waiting here all night. What? You knew? Well, I couldn't very well take the key from you in public now, could I? I knew that DRH remark would be enough to lure you down here eventually, though I'm impressed with how quickly it was. I don't understand. I'd like that key now. Tell me what it's for, and I'll give it to you. Is everything okay down there? No! He's still breathing. Weren't you going to shoot me just an hour ago? Oh, you mean this. No, it's just a method of intimidation. <sighs> Mr. Hornsby may be paying me well for this. And now, with the cop dead, let's just say my contract's terminated. You work for D. Roger Hornsby? Walter, his son. Wait, what's your name? Fresnel. Jacob Fresnel. Karen Joyce. Now, I don't know what that key is to, but in 15 minutes, I'm gonna phone the police about this murder. You better be out of here by then. Go on. My name is Dominic Roger Hornsby. If you are watching this, then I am dead. And you have won. Knowing that my death was coming, I've been pondering what to do with all my money. 
Who will get my $10 million? You know I love games. So here's what I decided to do. This key that you're very familiar with now, I decided to put in the mailbox of a random student at my beloved university. My son Walter and my friend Andrew expected some portion of this fortune, but this game has much greater interest to me. So congratulations, you have won. And with this key, you can open the briefcase beneath the screen and take your $10 million. Now what will you do with it? Whatever it is, make it an adventure.